All right, guess what came in the mail, guys? My good old snorkel. So open the package. Let's lay it down. Here she is. She's a beaut. This came off So this is made for a Wrangler, but it fits my car perfectly. So I figured this would be the exact match and I did the overall measurement, so I decided to order it. And overall, it fits really nicely. The only thing I gotta watch out for is this door because I don't have door stoppers on here. This car never did. So it likes to open way ass out. So I gotta be careful for that. Maybe like put like a strap that the Wranglers have that stops the door at a certain point or something. So that's the body of the snorkel. So come in here, dump this stuff out. We got this thing. It's a long flex hose. You can do whatever you want with it. You can bend it. It expands outward like that. So that stuff's gonna come in handy. And then, you got these, you got this rubber thing, and then you got whatever this thing is, and you got a plate that covers up the airbox of the Wrangler intake, and you got these, uh, another rubber thing, I think it's made for this so you can get a good seal on your snorkel. And you got a bunch of rivets, screws, and a lot of other shit to put your snorkel together. So you come in here, I'm gonna reach down there, grab the, uh, the neck. There it is, it's really stuck down there. Let's see if I can reach it. out and out it comes dang this thing is huge it's crazy man I'm so excited okay so putting this together is pretty self-explanatory so behind here you got a bunch of holes that you put your screws in that you bolt to the fender here you're gonna have to drill like a three inch three and a half inch somewhere in there you're gonna drill a hole so you can fit this gooseneck in and um, it comes with a template this thing right here, which I may use to mock up the holes, but it's not going to fit my body line because it's made for a different car. It's not made for mine. So I'm going to do the best I can and I'll see how it works out. Hopefully it'll turn out okay, which I know it will. Just some features and details. It's made of uh, some hard textured plastic and uh, it's got this little bracket on the back here that you bolt to your A-pillar to hold the second half of the snorkel. And then you got this piece down here, obviously. And right there is about where it's gonna sit. It's gonna come up like that. And it's gonna fit somewhere in there. So, and the overall length of this is about four feet. So, just keep that in mind. So if you want to put this on your car or your Wagoneer, like me, then I recommend you get this one. I was going to get the Cherokee one, but I'm doing an LS swap and the air intake box is on the right side. And Wranglers have passenger size snorkels and it was for, it's for sale on Amazon for $62. So I mean, you can't beat that. But um, yeah, I'm going to put this thing on here in a couple days and I'll be showing you guys that here shortly. Alright folks, here's what I had to do. So I made a cardboard template. So there's been a couple change of plans. So this contour right here, you got the bottom half of the door and it swoops in about four inches and it goes straight up like that. And you got the window there. So the snorkel I have is flat as it can be. So I put it up here, you know, guesstimate where it's gonna go. And I have a wide ass gap. So I don't like that at all. 
So I've uh, confiscated something for that. So here I have this cardboard template. It's about the same width as a snorkel. Um, and I try to make it the angle as this. So here you have two cuts. So you make the angle. First you line it up here. And then you cut it. And you bring it out like that. Since the snorkel is straight, you're gonna want this thing to be straight in order to get the right angle measure. And since the snorkel is gonna be crooked, you bring it in and that'll give you your offset and vice versa. So that's how that works. So here's my makeshift. Got the top of the snorkel there. It comes down, flush with the A pillar, and it comes down like this. You got your angles here and my cardboard piece is broke but you guys get the idea and this piece is supposed to go down to that hole that mark right there so when you put this here this will give you the exact fitment of your snorkel when you cut it and when you cut it you want to be very careful with you want to be very careful with cutting it you don't want to melt the plastic and make it all gooey Otherwise, it'll look like crap. But you just take your time and you cut it. And like I said, when the snorkel is straight, you bring it out like that to where it's straight with the snorkel. And that'll give you the cuts you're going to want to do. So on the snorkel here, I made my marks. So I got the top and I got the bottom. I got quite a few marks here. My original plan was... My original plan was to line it up with the body line, but if I bend it, if I cut this and I bend it in, there's going to be a gap here and a gap here, because when you bend the snorkel by cutting it that way, you're basically twisting it and it gives you a gap on both ends, and I didn't want that. Um, I want it to be nice and flush, so what I'm going to do is you put this up to the hole there and you got your first mark here and I went straight with it along like that and I went over here like that that's what the dash line is for this is my original line but I'm not going to use it anymore so you got this line right here and the only problem with this is that it won't be flush with the body line the top part is going to stick up slightly further than the back side here but I'm okay with that um, that's what I'm going for and I think it's gonna come out really clean okay guys so I decided to drill my three inch hole first in order to get more accurate fitment for my snorkel so I bought me a three inch hole saw and I marked my hole where I wanted it and I drilled like that what we're gonna do is take a punch make your divot and take a separate drill bit a little smaller than this one and drill where that divot is and then put this where you drill that hole and it will give you a nice clean hole you don't have to worry about your uh, drill bit swiveling around at all so what I did was I drilled a 3 inch hole first and then I put the drill in reverse to where it spin this way where the teeth won't bite down and won't catch on you and I went in at an angle which gave me more of an oval shape because the snorkel, uh, the tube is pivoted. So if you had just a direct hole, it won't be able to fit in all the way. So you're going to have to drill out an oval and make it more wide in order for the snorkel hole to fit. Once you drill out the hole, you'll get something like this. So a waste of metal. <laughs> Just a big piece of metal. So, that's great. Okay, so for those of you TJ guys, we're going to have to go over a couple things. Now, this has nothing to do with me, but it sh will sure help some of you guys out. So, you know, you got your template, you got your 3-inch hole right here, and you got your other two holes. And it's going to line it up, and it's going to go to freaking town, right? Well, not quite. So... 
I'm pretty sure they fixed the instructions, but I've seen guys on YouTube like screw up their snorkel projects because of this. So when you put your template on, it will say this was these instructions were made in a foreign country. So in their world, they think the they call the fender the guard. So when it says line up with the guard, and on the Wranglers, you have a plastic guard right about here-ish. And it says line it up with the top of the guard. They don't mean the plastic piece. They mean the top of the fender here. So you're going to want to take your instructions and line it up like that. Like so. Or however the design of the TJs are. So I don't have to worry about that. I have to worry about my own fitment. But I'm just making sure uh, you guys... Uh, can figure this out and make sure that you guys do this right because I've seen like I said I've seen guys on YouTube get pissed off about this I seen them screw up their entire project and it either doesn't line up correctly or it just looks like crap because on the Wranglers you have an antenna sticking way ass out right here and you have the antenna goes up like that and on the snorkel there's an indent where it goes around the antenna and if your snorkel is too high or too low or left or right, it won't line up correctly. And you have a gap, about a one, two inch gap along between the snorkel and the fender here. So just keep that in mind and read the instructions carefully. And like they say, measure twice and cut once. All right, so here's the snorkel. I made my contour. Um, so here they give you these studs in the kit. They give you these Allen. These Allen pattern thread things right here. These Allen pattern bolts. And uh, you screw them on with the Allen key to tighten them down. But my body line is different. So I have to make these a little bit longer. So I got to pull them out a bit. About that is a good distance for the body line I have. So this will be fine. And um, once I tighten it up, I'm not going to worry about these bolts coming loose anyway. So... I used a template for a little while, but it didn't work uh, because obviously, you know, my fender is different from the Jeep Wrangler. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and, uh, and then you put the duct on after that. Just put it on. Make sure you paint your holes so they don't rust. Tight fit, but it works. And here you have these big washers in case you drill too big or mess up. So they give you washers that are forgiving in case your hole is too big. And here they give you these nuts right here. So you go ahead and put them on. Just going from the back side. Alright, once you put your half inch nuts on and your washers, which I had a hard time doing, keep in mind that the fender skirt uh, with the measurements I did is really close to the uh, uh, top bolt I put on, so just keep that in mind.
Okay, so the bottom section turned out a little, turned out pretty good actually. Uh, I'm not worried about the paint right now, I'll get that later. So we come up here, um, these three holes rivet onto your A-pillar, and these two go on this portion here, and it's adjustable. But as you can see, we got about a good three inches away from the A-pillar there, so we're going to have to make some modifications in order to get this to work correctly. Okay guys, so I ran the pipe for the snorkel. Uh, I just got me some 3 inch PVC and I took me some of these uh, rubber o-rings that came with the kit and uh, I wrapped it around the snorkel flex tube and I tightened that up and I wedged the rubber piece up in here and I had to cut about an inch off of this angle pipe here so I can get a good fit and I ran this pipe down and I got me a 45 uh, connector and I got me a 3 inch uh, pipe connector right here and um, I cut one side off and put it over here on the intake and then I took two clamps clamp one to the plastic and one to the throttle body and I ran another 90 degree piece and I have a short three inch straight piece inside here just to show you guys what the underneath side looks like there you have the clamp and the bolts holding the snorkel on and here you have the flex piece and then you got the tube going up in there like that and it's just sitting there. And you got the clamp on the other side holding it in place. So far, it hasn't given me any troubles. It's pretty solid. It's pretty well stuck on there. So I don't think it's going anywhere. It fit pretty perfect. It clears the hood nicely and everything. So I'm happy with it. I might change the color a little bit. Maybe give it a darker color or something. But that's what I have so far. There's a snorkel. So that about does it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.